everybody, welcome to my electronic shop. Today is an exciting day. You see the box there? Exciting day. Let's move that a little bit into the frame there. You can see the image of it earlier. You can see on top of the box, there's a little um, United States of America with a big VTA in the middle of it. It says Bob Latino Custom VTA Tube Amplifiers. So that means is that I bought myself a Bob Latino amplifier. So if you watch my other videos, you know that I uh, have the ST70, Bob Latino's ST70, and I love that. I had that for a couple years now. I was always young up his uh, big model blocks, the M125. So I bought a kit. I decided to put the kit together, and we're going to make a video about it. And I'm going to build two M125s. So that should be an exciting, uh, exciting journey to take. So we're going to start today by just doing the unboxing. So you can see there, I have the one box. There's two boxes, both the same size. We're gonna open it up, we're gonna take all the parts out. And then we'll take a look at how it's packaged and all the parts and instructions. And we're gonna prepare to start building the amplifier probably in a week from today or so. And not quite, but probably next Saturday. So it's five days from now. And we'll see how that goes out. So I'll do a an unboxing. I think I'll just do a time lapse and we'll take a look at all the parts. Take a quick overview of everything, how it's packed after I'm done. There we go. So that was the unpacking. Uh, you can see by the pile of packaging that uh, Bob did a very good job in packing everything. Everything was very solid. Nothing moved around. It looked like anything could possibly be damaged from the shipping, even if they were handled very poorly. Uh, there's a lot of packaging. As you can see, you might have some papers to read from the uh, United States. I'm not sure. <laughs> but uh, certainly a big mess. I'm going to have to go through everything, make sure I didn't lose a part in there. So I'm going to clean up all the papers from there. I have to make sure that uh, there's not a part because I didn't do a parts list check yet, but by the looks of things, I think I'm missing uh, two 9-pin sockets. There should be four altogether, and I don't see the other two. Unless they're hidden someplace, I don't see them, but it doesn't look like it. I'm going to do it in full inventory, but I'm missing two 9-pin sockets by the looks of things. Hmm. So I'll have to let Bob know, and he'll probably send those off to me. I'm sure that'll happen, but uh, I'll do a complete inventory. I'll take a checklist. So basically, all the parts that came out of the box were the two chassis, as you can see. So a chassis for the right amplifier and the left amplifier, all stainless steel. Very nice. It's got the feet taped off inside there. Both of them have their feet inside there to put on the bottom of the case after. If you look inside there, Bob Latino signed it for me, which is nice. So I got Bob Latino's signature again. I'm pretty proud to get that in there. So uh, from February 10th. It's on 2019, so that's when we're going to know the kit was made and it was signed by Bob Latino. I'll put in there that it was wired by me at this date. So if anybody buys this in 30 years from now, they wonder, who the heck is this guy? <laughs> anyway, so uh, that's that. So it looks like these parts right here, they're all in one separate bag. Look at this, right? So these parts here are all for the circuit boards. So these are going to be the drive, two driver boards, and these are the parts for the driver boards. So it looks like those are probably all there. I'll have to do a check on inventory of all that. Got the... Uh, a lot of hardware, so fuse holders, IEC connector, for the AC plug, uh, the test ports, things like that. Got two AC cords, three prong grounded plugs. Got the switches, three large switches. I get four of these switches. Four of these switches, let me think. This can't be the cryo pentode switches. They're actually large. No, these are not. Well, maybe they are these two. Two cryo pentodes, perhaps. And two power switches. I guess it's a big switch like that, but I thought it was smaller switches. Just they're bigger on this amp. So that's, that's stuff there. And then here you can see all the hardware tube sockets, speaker connectors, some banana plug connectors, all the hardware. Two nine pin sockets, but I'm missing two, so I'll have to tell Bob. That's a, the connection wire, so a bunch of red wire and some black wire. 
Looks like that's all the wire there is. There's, I thought there was some blue and yellow in there somewhere, but there doesn't seem to be any blue or yellow wire. I'll have to see after so here we've got capacitors, some sorry capacitors and sorted resistors and the big things here holding macro the output transformer is huge power transformer even bigger there's there you can see that'll focus somewhere in there that'll focus there we go that's the power transformer custom mod for bob latino vta tube amps made in usa so uh, two power transformers are big big heavy things and two output transformers my goodness they're huge the two uh quad caps the power supply Got the chokes for the power supply. Got all my tubes, KT 120s ready to go. I have a little thing there. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that. We'll talk about that later when I build the kits. Hmm. Might be interesting, might not be. Okay, so that's that. I'll have to go through the checklist. So here's a the parts list for the VTA boards. I'll have to check the envelope for the rest of the stuff. And just do a checklist and see if I'm missing anything else besides the tube sockets. By the looks of things, I have tube sockets missing. And if this camera would keep focusing, it would be great. So that's all on the box. It's all on the table. So it's actually not too much stuff, really, when you think about it. It's uh, going to be a pretty easy kit, I think, to put together. It's a little bit of experience. Of course, I'm a novice. And uh, I've had some experience on my ST35 amplifier. So I kind of restored that one. So I'm you know, pretty comfortable. I did all the new circuit boards. So I'm pretty comfortable. I did some Chinese clock kits, not just to practice uh, circuit board soldering. And... So I got that down pretty good. I did my ST35 restoration and it turned out really well. So I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to do this kit. I can't see why not. I'm going to take my time and uh, follow the instructions by Bob. Bob's instructions supposed to be very well. And, uh, of course, it's not going to be an instructional video. I'm just going to show my progress. I'm going to kind of make some videos there and show how I do. And I'll talk about each stage of the game that I go through. So I may, you know, put in a few hours and stop and see what I did in those few hours and talk about if there's any hitches or glitches and if everything went smooth or not. And we'll go over that and hopefully I don't make any mistakes. When I plug it in, they'll test out nice and they'll work fine. And then I'll have years and years of great enjoyment listening to these monsters. That's for sure. Very nice, very nice uh, monoblocks for sure. Four kt each. So, okay. So I'll end the video there and I'm going to do a parts list check. I'm going to check everything and then, uh, if I do indeed have two sockets missing, which looks like it, I'll get an email Bob, and I'm sure he'll send those on the way, no problem. I'll get them in time to build the amps, because it's going to be only Saturday. i probably start building one amp. I'm sure it'll take me the whole weekend to do the first amp. So the weekend after, we do the second amp. So any parts that are missing, I think, will be I'll have enough for one amp, and I'll just wait for them. Anyway, so I hope you enjoy the series. It's going to be a Bob Latino M125 monoblock KT120 tube amplifier kit I'm going to put together here. I don't know if I got all that. I don't think all that will be in the title. <laughs> it's too much stuff. But anyways, it's a Bob Latino M125 kit. And I'm going to assemble it myself and see if I can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for joining me. Stay tuned for part two.